Leander Cave uh, inside of the top 10 last year. What a fantastic way to you know start your career off uh, here in Hawaii. Um, what you got in store for this year? Well, you know me, Greg. I like to go from the gun, so it's always uh, it's always going to be exciting from the start. I like to be up there in the front. Um, I'm not going to be as I think as aggressive as last year in dictating the pace. Uh, I think I'm going to try and hang back with at least one other one or two other people and uh, try and conserve a little bit for the run this time because I think <laughs> I left it all out there on the bike leg last year. <laughs> okay, so therefore you're, you're fairly confident in your run leg. Yeah, I've been, um, I mean, my run's not that bad, but it was terrible last mm -hmm. year. So I have had, you know, a lot more um, training specifically for the, uh, for the marathon this year. Last year I, I was racing a lot. I was doing, still doing short stuff, Olympic distance, World Cups, uh, and I came into this race probably with the speed, but just not the endurance side of the, the marathon. Whereas this year, I think I have more of the actual marathon pace in me. Oh, perfect. Well, that's good. That's going to set up well for you. Um, Didi Griesbauer is also you know, another fantastic swimmer, um, just like yourself. So, uh, I mean, last year, you two guys got out there and you know, really put the hammer down. Um, and then it was Chrissy Wellington who came through later. Um, it's sort of changed around a little bit this year with you know uh, the omission of uh, Samantha McGlone, McKeeley Jones, uh, Lisa Bentley. Uh, you know these guys being out of it now. So uh, how, you know how do you rate your chances here? Well, I, I'd say I'm I'm still going to be out there and and leading or in the front at some point in the race, and it would be great to be able to do that through all the way to the finish line mm -hmm. but you know there are some other girls I think we we need to keep an eye out this year and and those are the girls who actually haven't raced here before uh, the girl who won Roth in fact she is currently the world record holder now and she didn't break the world record by a bit she just smashed it uh, so she's something you know we need to keep an eye out for and, and I know her strengths it's the bike she can't swim so she's going to be coming from behind, <laughs> which is no new story for me. I always get chased, you know. Uh, and then we've got, you know, another girl from New Zealand, Gina Ferguson, who, you know, she's, a, she's an exceptionally good runner and, um, and kind of the quiet achiever, if you like. And it's always those little quiet achievers you've got to look out for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A bit of a dark horse, yeah. so to speak, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm um, looking forward to uh, Saturday here. Um, just get out there and have a good race. And uh, we wish you all the best from Ironman.com. Uh, Thanks. And uh, have a good one. Yeah, I can't okay. wait. Yeah.